This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, all. This is Fabi Hemsey. It's about 8.25 a.m., almost, Monday, June 7th, uh, 2021. Uh, yesterday was, today's the 7th, yesterday was the 6th. It was 43rd anniversary of my graduation, June 6th, yeah. So, uh, yes, there was a good number, too, 43. Just like George W. It's 43. Four and, four and three, seven. My, uh, what do you call it? Uh, my lucky number is seven. That was my birthday. And as you know, my car says seven patent. So we're in good business. We're in good neighborhood. So let's have to say that. Let's get this show started. First of all, uh, no housekeeping items to bring up. I don't have anything there other than saying that I have not mentioned in the previous webinar which was on Wednesday. Thir Friday, we did not do a webinar because it's non farm We had to start an hour early. And it was a glorious day, but by, I think mainly because we were a little bit lucky. Okay. So uh, on Wednesday, we did talk about something crucial I'm gonna remind you, which had to do with uh, 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 SQ, S SPX SQ, which is a tail risk. We're gonna get into that in a second, or where it is now. But uh, notice for the hits we had. I mean, the first day we were at uh, 130 or something like that. And if, I mean, or maybe even more. That was within six hours. Some crazy number. Of course, it tails off real fast. But yeah, you know, our numbers are not that big. We're not a marketing company. We don't dazzle and dazzle anybody. We just state our points. So anyhow, but that's how you get to our show, uh, to our webinars, to our video link which goes to our video channel or YouTube video channel I, I should say yeah anyhow um so if you get a chance to take a look at it this is going it's this is being recorded will also be posted there Go, moving quickly to econ data today is going to be nothing other than 3 p.m consumer credit notice is black it's not even uh, green or red so ignore that hey Nothing wrong with black. Black is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying that's the nomenclature of uh, this stuff, I think. Somewhere down here it said that what these are. I used to go. Oh, there we go. Market moving. Merit extra attention. Key indicator. Yeah, all right. Of course, we look for a consensus all the time. Uh, what do we got now? This is week number two. Remember that. So then we have trade. Uh, I don't know what NFIB stands for. I'm sorry. We got a red book, but jolts. I know Susie likes that. She's going to pay attention to that. That's uh, jobs on something and something. Okay. Jobs, what is it? I forget. Uh, somewhere in there. Jolts. I learned that she, she, she pays attention to that, and that's where we are. Job openings. Yeah, we go. Job openings. Okay. Prior consensus, 882. Okay, job openings. And I don't know what that else says. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the characters are stands for, but you could ask her. Nothing on Friday, uh, Wednesday, other than uh, uh, EIA, EIA. Thursday, obviously, jobless claims, and now we have CPI. Consumer sentiment on Friday, green report. Now, uh, by the way, oil has hit 70. For our practical purposes, we're trading at 70 last night. Okay, so week two, week three is the expiration. Week four is going to be heavy again. So we go two weeks of mild data, the second and third, and then two weeks of heavy data, last week of the month and the first week of the month. So we're on week two. Okay. Let's do the charts quickly. Uh, uh, I'm trying to get back on the horse on PMT. I'm having a hard time. Uh, the, the the logic behind that is that... Uh, uh, a, a friend of mine who runs UPS on the West Coast shared it with me that, uh, um, well, left coast, whatever we call, call it, shared with me that if you have a four months of going up in any annual uh, calendar year, now this one we've had not just that four months, but we also had uh, November and December. So we had six months of run up, uh, about almost uh, 10,000, almost close to 11, no. It's like 10, five ish uh, area, you know. Um, let's just say 10. 10,000 points on the Dow, 1,000 points on the SIP have gone up since the election. Usually, if you have that month four and five and six uh, have a negative bias, 
sideways months seven and eight, months nine and ten, no, or September, October. Downdraft, especially that on the October part. And then um, then you got uh, two months to run up into the close uh, for the year end. So, and maybe I bought this story. I don't know, but we saw that draft. We covered here. We went short again, so that was wrong. That was a W. Well, uh, Monday morning quarterbacking is easy. As Admiral says, hindsight is twenty twenty, And he should know this. He's been around the block a few times. So uh, we probably have to get long here. Now, let's see. We are um, going to take a look at where we are on the uh, – one second. Uh, uh, overnight here, I, I, my thinking today should be an inside day. Um, one second. No, no, sorry. Can I get to one of my trade session screens? That doesn't want to let me go there. No? Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Overnight, we're down a quarter. Nothing. Zero, but uh, we had the uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, unchanged basically for ES on. Hi Johnny, how are you? Welcome. Uh, a negative fifty on NQ. We were lower this evening. I, I mean last night. Uh, I do see some uh, activity around uh, five thirty this morning when we put the low end and rotate it around six a.m. The all times are, of course are Eastern. So having said that, we probably have to change our bias there. We're not hearing from Time and Digest. The website is also down. Uh, we have linked it to ours for for quite a bit now. Um, hold on. Okay, there we go. If you go there, it's linked there, right there. And if you go there, it's just currently not available. The website is up. It's not a web app. It's down. But the, the pages are not. Maybe they're, sounds like maybe they're updating. Okay. But we, as before, we send our signals to them. And we're going to do one uh, probably today. I want to see what kind of day we had today. I suspect it to be inside day. The news over the weekend was not all that good. So I expect a pullback. We'll see. Uh, 94 and a half on McKellen. Oscillator 61 on Brett Trust. Again, no no signal here why we were on the upside. This, this signal works on the downside. And uh, we kind of... Uh, Picked a, uh, uh, um, not a divergence. Notice we were higher up, and so is this value. So that's not a divergence. We should have a lower value here on the test right here. So, but this cursor is lower value here with a uh, lower value in its inverted ratio. Remember, this is inverted. You want it to be like this, but the price was not low enough. So I, I can't. I can't call that as a signal. Okay. Per again, sticking to the protocol. And look at CI is beginning to go long. So probably have to. Uh I had debated it uh, Wednesday. I, I know you guys heard me say that. Uh, and or Thursday of uh, that evening, both. But there were no um no numbers by the time we got into Thursday afternoon, Thursday morning, I guess. And ADP was huge. So what happened there? I don't know. Too much on my mind. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I'm at 220. I've lost more weight. I feel great. Yeah. This plant-based diet is clears your head. All right. Moving forward. Let's stay focused, Barry. Okay. Trans down ticked it a little bit. That's not good, guys. That's not good. On a strong day. Uh, on Friday, and of course, that that was basically said that uh, the Fed is uh, uh, not going to be touching much things here because we need some help. Numbers are not coming in. But over the weekend, uh, 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 Auntie Jeanette, I, I used to call her when she was a Fed chair. Now she's running to Effecta. You know, she's been the Fed, Treasury, and the uh, ECA, Econo uh, I'm sorry, CEA, Council of Economic Advisors. Nobody has done that, by the way. Um, said and said that I think it's on Bloomberg that higher interest rates will be good for U.S. Uh, uh, slightly higher. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure what she's smoking, but uh, uh, I, I have to ask some specialists to look into that. But uh, uh, I think half of Treasury Department is on something. Uh, look at the debt we have, and uh, 
Last year was the biggest deficit ever. Last fiscal year, remember they closed September. Biggest ever. I'm willing to bet you we could even exceed that this year. Okay. By by the time September 30 comes, let's say first couple of weeks of October data comes out, you're going to see it's going to be a disaster. Um, you know, drunken sailors just spending our money. What money? It's just paper anyway, right? Or electronic. We'll take it back. Right. Sure. Give you an instance that I've ever paid it back. I think to 99, 2000 was with this for, I think, a couple of quarters maybe. And that was it. Okay. Russell sideways. No read there. We came back off the 50 bar on the, at NDX. Okay. No major signal because we're not at any extremes yet. To, to compare, except possibly SMB is trying to get there. We'll probably get long. We'll probably get flat first. I'm just, the last, let's see how today does, but I, we got to do something. It's just getting a little bit too much for me. Okay. Uh, buy and buy. This the, that's the model we were in. Uh, both models, short term uh, and uh, longer term. Uh, as on buys now. And actually, that was not a bad signal, the timing-wise. Sometimes this gets inverted. I know some of you guys have noticed that. I brought it up myself, but this time was on, on spots. This is SPX again. Uh, where have you been? Momo is not anywhere. So no major signal here. We're in the channel, plus one, plus two. Remember, the key problem, again, as we discussed on last Wednesday, is the 220 reading on the uh, 52 weeks uh, high and lows. That's not going to change that easily. This is a signal typically for somewhere down here. It becomes a bell curve. Somewhere down on this uh, this part of the calendar, which we cannot show, we can never show, is where this is going to show its ugly head, which is that we are peaked. Uh, usually, if it's that strong in May, this could be peaked into up to, let's say, October, November. But none of this, these data is uh, uh, normal. Uh, we're in a uh, different time zone, if you will, especially with all this free money that's thrown out. My brother Nadia was telling me uh, one of the reasons of real estate prices in California, if California is doing it, others are doing it, is so crazy now is because of the PPE money. People are still taking the money, employers, they're still taking the money and the According to PPE, it's a forgivable loan. If you use it for uh, businesses, take care of your people, improve, whatever. They did uh, house flippings. And some of them are getting to court now. So, go figure. You don't think that's happening in Florida? The, the, some of the numbers are outrageous. And the question is, who's going to pay for it? It's not, it's not the indigenous population. It's uh, outsiders who can qualify yeah, if they're trying to borrow against it. Or our buddies from Putin and Trump and those characters who have cash, courtesy of like Bank of Cyprus and what have you, they just don't need to wash it. So let's sell them some condos in Aventura. Crop is everywhere. It's so sad. Okay. All right. Here's the, here's the today. That's enough of commentary. Let's move on. We hit 16. Hallelujah. That's not bad, actually. We're coming down on VIX. It is historically very high. Should have been at this point, eight, nine. Nine and a half tops, not two digits. We're fifty percent above that. So, to me, that's the. It's like a oil price is a terror premium we had. This is COVID premium the market is putting on because we still have a lot of uh, unemployed people out there. And also the incentives we've given them is so high. Some of them don't come back. I was talking to a friend of mine. Her uh, wife is a uh, uh, works in a high-end cocktail bar, and. Uh, she makes 4500 on average, take home. So it's not with cash uh, a month, New normal days, normal months. Now, but then she had to have a, a, a babysitter because she has a baby. And so that takes 2000 out. I'm sorry, 3500 She makes 3500 on average. 2000 was the uh, childcare cost. So she's taking home net, net 1500 Right now, unemployment is paying at 2700 What which boy she want to go back to work for? And she's at home with the kids. That makes 2700 and she keeps it. There's something wrong with that math. Let me know when you find out what's wrong. I, I, I need advice. Yeah, exactly. 
or better yet, go to Washington and give it, go, give the senators some advice. Okay, this is what we talked about on Wednesday. We're going to go back to it again. One of the things you need to realize on the SQ is that when we get a spike up or down, it never sits there. Okay, it's temporary. It's a view. Okay, it 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 gets to a number, sits there, and rotates. Morning, Charlie. And uh, uh, what we look for is the peaks. You know, we got we had a peak up here that was three sigma. Uh, but what was wor- noteworthy about that was that uh, it was 155, I believe. Now, again, as we discussed in that uh, uh, webinar on Wednesday, which we had a huge hit on YouTube, uh, it's the second time. I'm sorry, it's the second highest reading. The highest reading ever was 159. That came in August 13, 2018, and you saw what happened starting about October. Usually, this thing has a six weeks to eight weeks window to show its ugly head, and then it becomes relentless, depending on how severity we're in, you know, what condition we're in. We've had two or three other signals up there in that range, about 40, 140, about 150. Um, yeah, I see like 151 reading one time, but mainly the big number ever was at 159 one time you saw what happened on 2008 uh, 2018 i'm sorry uh november and december it was really bad october started it the six weeks clock started in uh, august uh, mid august it kicked it or eight, six or eight weeks it's not that precise as you know but it hit it in uh, october and then there was a little bounce back in november and then they really hit it and then came down a little bit kind of level Past Thanksgiving, hit it again, and it was a very, very bloody uh, 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 December. Am I saying that's what's ahead of us? No, no. No indicator is going to work all the time. Most indicators work 60, 70% of the time. Rest of it is really risk management. Um, but this is a note 40 week. This is the second highest at 155 and 3 sigma. Didn't go to fourth. We got to watch it. What does it all mean? It's the tail risk. The tail risk of the SPX options. This is the realm of the big boys. So you have a downside pressure on the names. They're seeing something out there that they're buying that uh, positions. Uh, the way out of the, I'm sorry, would be here, would be way out of the money positions. I suspect, uh, I suspect anything between five to a thousand points down. Type of a type of a setup. It's, it's just not 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 not. It's not it's not a couple of sigma channels that we talk about. Okay, no way. It's further out. So forget about four, four sigma right now. It's four thousand. That's two twenty. That's not good enough for the, these boys. So they will buy it down here somewhere. Why? It's out of the money, so it's cheap. Okay, and uh, they accumulate that now. Why is this thing moving? Because they adjust it. It's not. They just don't buy and believe in it and. Do anything whatsoever. No, no, no. Goes their way. Maybe they take some profit out. If the news changes on them, they sell even at a loss. There's some adjustments. This is theoretical. This is not tradable. The SQ. It's a theoretical number. It's a, it's computed by a very decent uh, and well-defined algorithm by a uh, uh, SIBO, and it's posted about an hour after the close. So we closed 147 on Friday. Still fairly uh, elevated. If you go to the PM teacher page, that will tell you what our uh, what these numbers mean as a percentage of percentage for two sigma events and three sigma events. Three sigma that is we move three that for SRP moves three standard deviations from where it is now. Okay, three. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, it's not huge, but but because yeah, but because okay, there we go. But because this is was very high, uh, this this is a uh, um, in terms of our thinking, in terms of strategy, in terms of uh, event driven trading, it could be a paradigm shift for for this event. Okay, and I'm, I'm I, I just I mean you got to see every. Close wherever I am. I want to dial it either on the phone or come here and take a look. Where it is, of course, here because I can see the chart to see what that reading is. Uh, it's early, 
but uh, with that window. So this is June. So uh, I'd say it's telling us somewhere in this area we're going to have a problem. Okay. Here's the fear. This could feed. This this is August, right? Yeah. This could feed into September, October. So keep that in mind. Rather give you some news and a warning rather than say everything's hunky dory because it's not. Go shall see. And remember, some people are short here too. So up or down as you go, there's somebody at risk. It's not that nobody's at risk. So. Uh, TD. All right, let's go here. Okay, fairly decent uh, low was put in last, uh, I believe, uh, uh, Thursday or Wednesday afternoon. We came back up, a little retest on Thursday. Overall, you could see right there, or the dojis, that part and this part, forget the, uh, the yellow dot. And now, uh, we, we head up obviously strong on uh, on the, the the number. This is the number. This is non farm sideways into the weekend down down tick into 4 a.m. this morning, and then we're riding up a little bit more. So I'm agnostic today. Don't know. Most likely I may trade nothing or very little because I think that after going to, this is just ball cycle. You had two doji days, big uh, solid day. Most likely we're going to take a breather here. And there's nothing on the calendar. The news, as I showed earlier, uh, for Mondays, it's uh, uh, terribly, terribly uh, quiet right here. If you go there, there's nothing here. So just the shape of things to come. Uh, Treasury yields. Okay. Uh, Friday was a, had a big move and basically said, uh, uh, I don't understand what why Yellen said what he said, she said over the weekend, but Basically said, uh, uh, things are not as well as you think they are. Make sure you have, uh, make sure you have a uh, have a Fed that's more accommodating, or we deserve a Fed that's more accommodating. Okay. Uh, the risk with that is you're gonna fall behind. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, we shall see. We shall see. So, moving forward, uh, let's go to last chart. Sorry, I slowed down for a moment. No, no, why? Hold on, not this one. There you go. Okay, now let's go here. Uh, didn't expect it to give us a signal, and it's not. Okay, hold on. So, uh, let me. Yeah, let me focus here because it's something. That, to focus what we're supposed to be looking at. Then all this advertisement. I hate Google for this crap. Okay, now if you go down here, you'll see okay sideways. All right. Uh we're seeing it around 90%. Looks like we're basing. We've been we had tested that before. So previous uh, resistance is a new support. Makes sense. Let's sit that there. Uh, swooping back and forth and sideways higher up. So, this should be a little bit higher on the close. Isn't that Friday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To me, no signal here. Remember, not every indicator is going to give you a signal all the time. And uh, that's why I like to go with uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? with uh, uh, preponderance of evidence. Okay? All right. Else, what else do we need? Oh, overnight. Okay, let's see. Again. again, overnight. Sorry. Um, too many items on my screen. One sec. There we go. All right. Oh, let's bring this in. Okay. Again, uh, this is 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. this morning, 5 o'clock. We rotated. I'd like to look at 30 minutes uh, just as an overall exposure of see what others are looking at, but that's where we are. Okay. Any questions for me? Okay, we'll be closing this recording shortly, and then we're reopening the OTF on the other machine for the day session. All right. Thank you for attending. See you on the other side.